Perth Glory has been caught out and booted out in a sporting scandal. The team has been dumped from the A-League finals after it was exposed for cheating on players' salaries. Perth Glory season started promising, but they'll end it having carried out the biggest rort in A-League history. They've been labelled cheats, banned from playing the finals. The breach this season involves the deliberate failure to disclose payments and benefits to at least six players. The club's been breaking the rules since 2012. This season alone, Perth Glory exceeded the salary cap by $400,000. As football's governing body, FFA has an obligation to the fans, the clubs, the sponsors and the broadcasters to make sure that every contest is fair and square and under the rules and regulations of the A-League. FFA has determined that we cannot have a club deliberately, significantly and persistently breaching the oblig those obligations playing for the championship. The FFA investigation found systematic rorting by the club. It paid players outside of their contracts. In one case, it paid a player's family member. There were payments of players' agent fees, third-party sponsorships. Travel costs were also covered. The club paid accommodation benefits. Cars were also provided. Perth Gallery will be fined $269,000 as a result of exceeding the salary cap this season and failing to disclose reportable payments and benefits in the past two seasons. The club was on the verge of their most successful A-League season yet. Disgusted. Like, at the, the board, the CEO, Sage, all need to go. I'm mad at anyone. I love my team and I can't wait to watch them win tonight. It's unclear if players knew about the rorting. Star striker Andy Keogh wouldn't comment as he left his mummy and home. Have you been asked to take a pay cut? You, what about your future at the club? It was up to the Perth Glory CEO to front the media, but he took no questions. Jason Brewer said all payments are independently audited. He denied the club will breach the cap this season. This season, our player payments paid under the salary cap, a forecast to be below that salary cap. I mean, it sort of defies logic to suggest that you only have to be under the salary cap at the end of the season.